smoke They're gone. She's gone. All right, YouTube. I'm bringing y'all another commentary today. And one thing you're going to notice about me is I'll upload in bulk, like, two or three videos in one day. And then I'm going to upload for, like, a week or two. That's because I just got a lot going on in life. So I can't, I don't have the time to make videos constantly. I expressed that in the last video, but hopefully you guys bear with me. I do bring, like, regular gameplays without commentary, but I know that's pretty boring. But I'm going to just try to get more out there. Because I, I paid a month for PS Plus and... I'm not going to let that $10 go to, to waste, so you guarantee I'm going to be online every day, because that's $10. I could have used that for something else. But anyway, I want to talk about what is a sweat or a tryhard or whatever it's called nowadays. There's probably more names for it, but I just, I just need to know, because I've been called a tryhard a lot over the years, and I'm... I don't know. I, I play to win the game. It's not like I camp or anything like that. You guys see me constantly run around. I can understand someone being called a tryhard if they were camping in, in a corner with like shock charges and trip mines everywhere. I can understand that, but with someone who's actually running around and like outgunning you and outsmarting you constantly, I can't really see that person as being a tryhard. I just see that person having a good game and or just being a better player than you. And that's one thing the COD community has a hard time admitting is when somebody is better than them. And I, I won't come out here and claim that I'm the best, but I'm a pretty good player. I used to be above average until I came to PS4 and I took a break, but I'm getting back up there. But yeah, what what makes a person a sweat? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a couple of questions out there. Is it the use of a headset? That's question number one. And one thing I want to say about the headsets is I can understand where people were coming from if it was last gen, if it was PS3 and Xbox 360. Because with that, they didn't have this whole integrated system where you could use any kind of headphone. Back then on the PS3, I had to buy Turtle Beaches if I wanted to use it, use it as a advantage over people. And that cost me about 800 and $30 I want to say I can't remember but it was a pretty good amount around that area and that's how I wanted to get the advantage over people in Modern Warfare 3 and it's all about the willingness to pay if you're willing to get that advantage then you'll pay that kind of money but looking back on it I wouldn't have spent that money to, for the headset because for one I barely use it because I don't like headsets that clamp over my head. It makes me feel uncomfortable. I have a lot of hair, so when I clamp down on my hair, it just feels feels weird. For people who have a lot of hair, they know what I'm talking about. I don't like those kind of headphones. But now, I can understand back then why people said having a headset was unfair. Now with the PS4, there's a little, um, there's a standard headphone jack now that you can use any headphone and your, um, your PS4 controller. I'm not sure if the Xbox One has this, but with the PS4, I use iPhone headphones, and I can sound hold pretty good. You know, I don't do it often, but if I really want to, like, play the game and, like, not make a lot of noise, because I, I live with other people, I don't live by myself, then I'll use the iPhone headphones. So I can't really say that having the sound hold advantage and this generation is unfair because a majority of people have iPhone headphones, the white ones, or any kind of headphone in general. They have some sort of headphones that they can use when they listen to music or anything like that. So if you connect that with your PS4 controller, then you can sound hard, not as well as like somebody with an Astro headset, I'm pretty sure, but you can hear people from a pretty good distance. So I can't really argue and say that that's unfair anymore. So 
if you want that advantage, then you'll just plug in your headset and you know you configure the system setting to reroute the sound to your headphones. So with Soundhorn, I can't really say that's for tryhards anymore because it's available for just about anybody. Now, I want to talk about the stuff controllers. Are stealth controllers unfair to you guys? Me personally, it's a fine line between having an unfair advantage and you know just being skilled at the game because mainly I could jump shot not well in this game, but I could jump shot pretty well. And with that, I'll use a standard controller too, by the way. And with that being said, I can't really say that you know jump shotting is unfair because if you really put the time into learning how to do it then you'll learn how to do it with a standard controller it's a little bit harder to do it in like games like advanced warfare and black ops 3 because with the boosting it'll be harder to maintain your accuracy but at the same time i can see where people are coming from with the whole oh scuff controllers are unfair but it's you know it's a back and forth argument because if you make the comparison to like professional athletes who really want to, you know, get an edge over their competition, they'll do anything and everything that's legal, of course. I don't mean anything like steroids or anything. Anything that's legal to get an advantage over their competition, they'll do it because they want to be the best at the game. And, you know, they play to win. And that's one thing I can't really understand about the COD community. It's almost as if if you play to win and you do really good, it's looked down upon by the people you're playing against at least it's looked down no upon because you know you just destroyed them in the game and now all of a sudden they're like a try hard and a sweat and like you know they're whatever they usually say in the hate message you just die and all that the typical online stuff but i can't really say that stuff controllers are you know unfair because if you really want that advantage you could pay for it but at the same time, I understand that money doesn't grow on trees. So, I don't even know how much a stuff costs. I'm just going to say, like, 150 for a really good one. That's my guess off the top of my head. And that's just me. So, if you really want an advantage over the in the game, you'll, you'll be willing to pay that money. But me, personally, I don't feel like paying any more money than for the system in the game and the online subscription. I don't feel like anything's worth it. And there's a plane passing over me right now. Hopefully my mic is picking that up. Hold on. Yeah, I live pretty close to an airport, so there's constantly planes flying over. And yeah, I'm already running out of time, but I just wanna know what classifies a tryhard in this way. Maybe it's, you know, the Gamma Labs people. I never had Gamma Labs. So maybe that's what people think. The people who drink that stuff and use the headphones and the scuff controllers, those are the, 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 what's it called? The sweats. So just let me know because I just need to be enlightened because I don't camp or anything like that, but I still get called the try hard. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section and leave a like if you enjoyed and I'll see you around.